can see dwarf, night elf, gnome. No, wait, did I get this mixed up? No, dwarf, night elf, gnome, your dryney, and then your organ, which requires cataclysm. Which means you probably have to get the full game to get it. I'm Basically, just starting out. I do have happen to have another account, but I'm not going to use that one and start from the beginning. Um, if this is fast, I will probably just get right into it. All right. So we have the goblin requires cataclysm over for the horde. You have your orc, your undead, tauren, troll, and blood elf. I think I'm gonna do two different, a couple different playthroughs, which means I might have to set up a couple accounts, because as you can see, there's a lot more than eight figures here I can pick. Alright, anyways, as it, as it stands, I've only played as the Alliance side of the fight. So I'm thinking I'm gonna play on the horde bit. I might as well go with um yeah, I'll go with the undead. They are also known as they call themselves the Forsaken. You can see here if you can how I see it. Let me just Let's see, it only says kid aquism because I guess that's what it just says. I don't know whether or not I really have it. I got the disc. Free of the Lich King's grasp, the Forsaken seeks to overthrow the rule. His rule, led by the Banshee Sylvan, as they hunger for vengeance against the Scourge. Humans too have become the enemy. So basically, with the Horde. They are more concentrated on attacking with the undead part of the horde. They are more concentrated on attacking the Lush King, which you hear a lot about because of an expansion for it. And the humans, because they're, they're their opposites. They're the living. These are the living dead. The humans are the living among the living. In the horde, they care little, even for their allies. To them, the horde is merely a tool that might help them with their schemes against um, the Lich King. Basically, um, well, it's again difficult. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna stick with male as I am a boy. I would like something that also gives me a distanced weapon. From the beginning, I've never actually played as anything but a hunter and a warrior. I do not like warrior very much. Hunter's okay, but it only gives you so much health. Thinking if I'm going to do it, I might as well go with um. Let's see, let's see what these guys think. They all hold staffs. This makes up the priest. Well, they all hold staffs. No matter what, that's pretty cool. I think it's a staff. I would like guys with like heavier armor though, but there's a, uh, yeah, I'll go with Warlock. So this is basically, it's your sort of put together thing. I'm trying to make each video at least 15, 20 minutes long. It might take a while for some of them to come out though. So as you can see, you got your character there. I'm just gonna hit randomize and see what pops up. See if I like it. It's okay, I don't like that kind of much though. Let's see, no. That's good, that definitely fits. 
So there you go. I don't know why that kind of looks like a girl dress or whatever. Don't don't make fun of it. Don't don't diss the Warcraft. What do you think World of Warcraft basically is? If any of you out there have actually played um, Wizard 101, it's sort of the same thing except Wizard 101 sucks. Let's go with a random name. Something if this tells me it's not allowed, I'm gonna be mad. I don't think many people actually like this. Wow, it's taking me six minutes. This video might all be character selecting. No great name is unavailable, that's fantastic. Um, it sucks. Let's see what else comes up. Atheist, I guess. Don't go with Atheist. You know how it tells you what is what. So, Atheist, I might do something on my other character who's a level 6 hunter. Currently in the Alwyn Forest. I can only have 8 characters, I might have to make several accounts just to fit in most of my videos. And I might continue if these are popular, you may like. I think we can get a little, little bit done, I can, at least I can give you the introduction. And as this loads, might as well give you a little bit more on um, World of Warcraft itself. A lot of you out there, you're probably looking it up saying, well, what is World of Warcraft? Um, if you don't know what World of Warcraft is, it's pretty basic. Um, it's one of those big, it's one of those MMO RPG games where it's one of those massively multiplayer online roleplayer games. Where you're basically playing out a role in the game. You're playing on the role of whichever character you, you so choose. Now, once you choose that character, you kind of you can pick eight different other. You can have eight files. You can pick from ten to twelve um, creatures or beasts or whatever you want to call them out of the entire game. Um. Is it going to be slow like this? Yes. Is there no? Is there sound coming from this? Yes. There's definitely going to be sound coming from this. I have headphones on. Actually, I'm going to take this out so you can hear a bit of it. You can barely hear it. And then I just don't. Let me see this just pokes in on that thing. But hold on, this is kind of bad. I'm not used to making videos, so I don't make all those second preparations, just last second preparations. Turned it down a bit because it's making a lot of noise. This is probably would show up as you have a if you have a disc or something. Probably your best. Way. And you can't hear that. Can't. Sorry. Um. I guess if you want to hear the rest of it, which I'm cutting out right now. Sorry, I'm doing this all from my iPod, so you can't really get it. 
had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitor's atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of putrid sin. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tyrus Hall of the Graveyard. Our character is just now waking up. We are waking up. Sorry, I've never played this undead character before. Um, this is very different for me. Um, oh, this person's come back to bring me the light. Let's see what it says. Um, I know you got it, it's a kind of crappy, but if I can get this to focus long enough here, you can see the main figure of it. Fresh out of the grave, see, I have been brought up. They hit him in his bed. Welcome back to the realm of the living. With the blessing and power from the dark lady, I freed you from death's grip. Oh, well, that sounds all nice, huh? You are no slave, atheist. You are free to follow whatever path you... Choose to serve the Dark Lady. Sylvanas, I rank Dark Lady Sylvanas. I recommend that you speak with Undertaker Mordo. You will find him behind me in the graveyard. Report to Undertaker Mordo quest objectives. Report to Undertaker Mordo at the, at the Death Knell Grave and Trace Fault Lights. You will receive 2 copper and 10 experience. Okay. Mm hmm. As you can see, well, you really have no other choice but to accept this mission. This isn't take it or leave it thing. But another thing you can do is you can play in um, what are called groups. Um, we should probably find this guy. Eventually, these videos will get a little better. No, okay, here we go. I'm walking past them here. I believe. I'm not even focusing in on that. I'm sort of all over the place, aren't I? I'm not very good at this. Where is this guy? Where is he? He would be right there. Let's set the course for him. I might do some stuff on... Well, put down a request. I will play something. Do some other things. Alright, fresh out of the grave, you're finishing it. Undertaker Mordo. Hello there, you must be atheist. You will receive the gold and everything it, it says you will be receiving. Hit complete quest. Oh, I didn't read 